I want to start by thanking everybody who has liked, commented or subscribed so far. I really appreciate it guys and it helps my small YouTube channel a lot. Okay, let's get to it. I don't know who was in charge of the sound effects when this game was made back then, but that is a horrible sound effect. <laughs> Sounds like air hissing and uh, coming through places. What this actually means is something has moved. I don't know why they chose this sound, but in any case, that's the thing up there. So I think we can reach that. But the door is not open yet. Hmm, interesting. That door needs to be open for us to uh, actually access that. I think I remember. Let's go and push that block around to the other side. I think there's another switch there that opens the door. All right, right now, I remember this. This is a mistake. You do not need to go further. First, let's push it this way. Let's pull it this way. That's the only place you can pull it back out. Because if you kind of see the layout, you see there's a corridor here. That's the only place you can uh, pull it towards the middle of the room. Oh, there's a crocodile. Can I kill him? Ah, she doesn't see him. That's okay. We gotta get him another time. <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm pulling this to the edge of this floor so I can uh, use it to run and jump onto the next one. That should do it. Let's take a jump. Let's also save because there's a crocodile down there. <laughs> Let's not forget about him. Alright, now if I remember correctly, I need to push this. And reveal a pathway. Okay, nice little side area. What's in here, though? Interesting, there's a door. What does this switch open? Does it open that door behind me? No, it actually opens the one we need. Very nice. Kind of makes you wonder what this thing is. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's an entire, entirely different room. Yeah, we're gonna encounter that later on, I think. Our next objective, we need to jump up there to do that. I'm gonna need this block. All right, we cannot push it or pull it anymore, unfortunately, so this will have to do, I guess. It looks doable. <coughs> and thankfully it is. Oh, there are... I think there's enemies up ahead. Let's see. <coughs> Alright, I was wrong. I was way too anxious, I guess. <laughs> So we get a switch, let's flip it, and that opens up those doors you remember down there in the central area of the level. Oh yeah, there's a secret area here, I think. Down there, that's the central area of the level. We're gonna get there in a minute.
All right, so first let's run around here, gather some stuff. Man, you cannot see where you're standing. Thankfully they included a look around button in this game, because there was no mouse back then, remember, in games. So you actually, well there was, but it was not used in games usually. So you kind of had to uh, use a button to look around, which was very tedious. But it was functional, I guess so. Uh, now, can we jump across there? We can jump. If I go there first, I guess. Let's save first, though, because there's a lot of jumping involved. <laughs> we do not want to uh, mess this up. Have to do it all over again. Oh, can you hear somebody? An enemy. Oh, he's right below me. Nice. Okay. You can kind of tell that the game is getting tougher because it's giving me the good kind of ammunition. So it expects you to use it. No more Mr. Uh, nice Guy with the with the simple guns. Those will not work at all here. I have to use the good ones. Alright, so I guess let's get down. Explore this area. Did the other doors open as well? No. So we're gonna have to go here now. It's interesting how this is an open world game, but also very linear in a fashion. Alright, no enemies here. Oh, this is a very interesting little side area. So, uh, <laughs> let me show you some stuff. So this is a very little corner in the level. You can see there are spikes down there. Right? And uh, you would wonder, like that's easy to avoid, right? <laughs> Who would just walk into them? Well, let me save the game. And I'll show you how mean the devs can be at times. So if I go down here, this is not sloped, right? This is just uh, like like a ladder, like steps. No, the developers change it. And they create a slide. So it leads you right into the uh, spikes. No reward here either. No med packs or nothing. It's just for the fun, just for the developers to watch you die, I guess. <laughs> for no reason at all. All right, now onto serious business, though. Let's check this area out. I'm gonna be walking slowly a lot in this level. You need to be able to see what's ahead, lest you want to get eaten. Alright, so now, there's a switch there, and an entire level over here, and I remember something about this. Okay, that opens the next trap door, very nice. Now we could go back, but uh, since this level has been illuminated, let me guys show you what 
what's going on down here. Alright, now that we kill the Jaguars, let's drop down a bit. Now you would think that that's a jump we can make, right? Wrong. That's the developers playing jokes on us again. You cannot reach that, unfortunately. So the only way to do this is go down. And actually face the music, because I think there's more enemies. Let's quickly check the corners. Yep, see? Of course it's time trigger as soon as you drop down they attack you thankfully the developers have included little uh, pick-me-ups little areas like this usually after you face a lot of enemies they give you a med pack so I guess they are not so mean after all <laughs> So on that little bridge, let me actually see, is there anything on that bridge? Oh, wait a sec, something moved. Oh, Jesus. Even more enemies, I do not remember them. Oh, I'm not going down until I kill them. <laughs> well, look at him. He is patiently waiting for me in there, isn't he? Oh, come on, Mr. Jaguar. Do you remember there was a console named Jaguar? Very interesting times. I don't remember who made it. Can we get the other Jaguar, please? I don't know why she's having such a tough time when somebody's right below her. Like, there's a huge blind spot for Lara. And of course the enemies take advantage. Jesus. Come on, Lara. Kill that thing. Finally. So let's actually drop down and see if there's anything interesting in there. Yeah, a small med pack. Well, I guess they already gave us a big one, so <laughs> shouldn't complain. explore this little area oh man I do not like corridors like these because I know things tend to attack you in them oh I hate these corridors <coughs> right, I'm gonna do it like this oh man at some point someone will attack me I know that Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it because it's such a uh, such a small space. Right, so they just jump back and forth around you. You are kind of helpless there. Thankfully our med pack situation is very favorable.
Now we obviously need to get up there. It doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon though. We quickly run around. Okay, there is something we can climb here. Okay, cool. Let's quickly check the area. A door that's not open yet up there. And a little side area over there. Now that's actually a window. Just cosmetic. Alright, and so now we have arrived to the area I was talking to you about earlier. When we started the level and we were down there, we looked up here and I told you this was gonna be a bit further down ahead. I don't think there's enemies here, so maybe I shouldn't have my guns out. It is an interesting choice to uh, leave your guns out or draw them in, because if you're expecting enemies, of course, pays dividends to have them out, but sometimes the developers place traps and you need to be very agile, or very quick to grab onto ledges and things like that. So no idea what that did. We'll see. I guess let's go back. I think maybe this has filled the other room with sand, so now we can reach that door up there. Oh, this has opened this thing. It has also dropped a key up there. Interesting. Didn't see that then when we first came. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and grab that now. See, like, that's the thing that developers... Um, I don't know if they did this intentionally, but you can easily miss those keys. Like, if you come running here, you're gonna slide down. Never gonna see that key, and... Obviously, when you first come into this level, this key is not here. You can kind of see it glitching, but from down here you cannot actually see it, so... Alright, so, how many keys do we have? Just the one. So I'm guessing now we need to drop down here. That's what the devs intended, probably. Is it safe, though? It doesn't look safe. <laughs> Might be a Jaguar or two waiting down there. Any nasty surprises? Hopefully not. Oh, and this room has actually filled with sand. And the door has opened, so... Let's take a quick visit up there. Alright, there is a keyhole though here, so maybe that's the end of the level, let's see. Yeah, I think we did it. Let's make sure nothing nasty comes out of there though. No, nobody? Oh, and that it is! Okay, the city of Kamun done in a bit over half an hour. 13 kills, so... There's lots more exploration than killing in these levels. That's nice though, I like it that way. And that's the end of this episode then. 
If you enjoyed it, remember to press the like button to help my channel out and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. To watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again guys, see you in tomorrow's episode.